Hi everybody. Welcome to my messy table. I'm putting together my weekly menu and burning my candle for the first time. It's a rainy day. This one is supposed to be, let's get closer, cinnamon, pumpkin, and clove made in the USA, soy and sass. It smells pretty good. Uh, last time I burned, I think it was ginger and pumpkin. And it was okay too, but I like this one better. <laughs> I like the jar better, I think. Okay, so, weekly menu. I had a devil of a time figuring out what day Sunday is. Sunday the 15th through Saturday the 21st. And we have, um, uh, just, let's say today, because you're seeing this today, a sheet pan dinner that got shoved up from last week's menu because we didn't do it. So that'll just be, I'll cut up some of that uh, kielbasa sausage into little coins. And I'll add root vegetables like carrot, uh, little tiny potatoes, like little white potatoes. I forget what those are called. And sweet potatoes and broccoli and mushrooms. And mushrooms aren't root potatoes, and neither are broccoli. But you get the, the picture, right? And then we'll have chocolate peanut butter brownies um, for after and for the next day and the next day. Oh, telephone. All right, I have my youngest, my caboose, at Costco right now doing some shopping for me. I um, hope that he finds everything. He called me that he couldn't find the Alfredo sauce. And while my daughter will just whip up an Alfredo sauce, I think that the jars at Costco are perfectly wonderful and acceptable. <laughs> anyway, uh, so Monday on the 18th, no, what does that even say anymore? 50, it says the 16th. We're having lasagna soup with garlic bread. And so lasagna soup is basically everything that lasagna is, only in a soup base, you know, and I think it sounds good. And I don't believe I've made it. If I have, it's been a really, really long time, and it just looked so, you know, warm and autumnish and whatever. So then here's another deal. We've got a full moon, and it is um, either... Monday or Tuesday, I don't know why I was getting two different answers unless I was looking at different countries. You know, some countries are ahead of us or just some areas of the world. Uh, like in Guam, on Guam right now, it is um, a day ahead of us. So anyway, if you were in Japan, you'd say that the USA is a day behind them. Next. <laughs> so then Tuesday, the uh, 14, 15, 16th, we're having rotisserie chicken, which one of the, ki the kid is picking up right now. I'm just going to make it up with some boxed stuffing and some green beans, and I may serve rolls with it. Maybe not. Wednesday, we've got Zuppa Toscana. You know the Olive Garden recipe, the copycat. I think that's the best one. And then we're going to have garlic knots with it. I could do a salad, but usually people just tank up on all the soup they can hold. And the garlic knots just go well with it. So, Thursday the 19th is our traditional no-cook Thursday. We have leftovers. We go out to eat, or we carry in. I believe that we are probably going to have leftovers. <laughs> um, I'm down one kid. One kid has moved out. Uh, the... Um, I'm trying to remember how old he is. I think he's 26 or 27. Eh. You know, there's five of them. And when you get old like me, you start to jumble things. So, no cook Thursday. Uh, I don't have to cook that for, for that many people is what I'm getting at. Friday the 20th, I'm going to do individual chicken pot pies with veggies. Uh, you know how you put, I don't know why I said with veggies, because my, oh my, I think probably everybody's chicken pot pies would have chicken, a cream base inside, um, potatoes, carrots, peas, you know, that kind of thing. And then some sort of dessert, I don't know what yet. I know that that kid that's at Costco right now just texted me and said, okay, I got pup pumpkin muffins, and what other kind of muffins should I get? And I said, chocolate. And then I said, no, you pick. <laughs> because if he brings chocolate in here, I'm going to be face down in a muffin. You know what I, mean? 
and I don't need to be. So anyway, Saturday the 21st, butternut squash ravioli and a salad. Sounded good, good, good to me. The last time we had butternut squash ravioli here, it was just one of the kids and myself. I don't know where the other two kids were, and probably my husband had been out to see. This is going to be good. I love it a lot. It's one of my favorites. Oh, and he couldn't find the sauce for it. That's what I was getting at. Boy, I will wander off the path of a story like, you know, um, a baby. <laughs> I don't know. So anyway, I've got to do my sister shout out here. And I have someone just right for that. I just didn't have to cover it up because I didn't do it yet. All right, here comes that part. Here we go. My sister shout out this week is, and check out her channel, Acre Homestead. And Acre Homestead is run by Becky. She is a sweetie. She has so much energy and pep. And just uh, like her voice, I like her style. She does incredible food prep, recipes, organizing, and whether that's organizing her kitchen or a dinner party or her garden, it's it's a thing to behold. She's lots of fun. She's mom to one, and she's actually located here in Washington State, but I believe closer to Oregon than I am. So, Thank you, Becky, for a quality channel, lady, and um, I hope everybody will get over there and check out your channel. Well, I think I need to get my mess cleaned up because I have a kid fixing to arrive from Costco any minute, and I he didn't get that much. He would have got more, but he complained, so I cut my list. <laughs> you know, I mean, he is male. <laughs> And in my experience, the males in my family aren't shoppers. They're hunters. <laughs> so I'm going to clean this up so I have room to show you what I got from Costco today. All right, here's my Costco list, except for the chicken pot pie that my son dropped off for my parents. So that there's that. Okay, so um, the organic Organic, organic butternut ravioli. Here that is. Now, <laughs> organic ravioli. Eleven ninety nine, but it's a two pack, you know. So I think we'll do well with that. Guess what? My Costco, Gig Harbor, Washington, does here. Gig Harbor does not have at this time anymore that they're selling, but they may sell it in the future, jarred Alfredo sauce. Really? <clears throat> anyway, I got Alfredo sauce, just not the kind that they used to carry there. <laughs> the guy looked it up and he said, we have this sauce and that sauce and the other sauce. And no, no, Alfredo. <laughs> he goes, nope. <laughs> okay, and then there's um, hot sauces. One is avocado. And one is habanero. Hmm. And those were seven fifty nine for both of them. So I guess that's pretty good. These are glass bottles. Kind of fancy. Huh. I've never seen this before. I hope they like them. I'm sure they will. This I did not put this on the list. Okay. And then there's the little potato company. Fresh potatoes. Little duos. I've got so many things coming up that I'm using little potatoes for, including tonight's dinner, the sheet pan dinner, that I don't know what else to do, um, you know, other than get it like this, because it's less expensive, believe it or not. Let's see. These are fancier, but my potatoes came out to be $8.99 for five pounds. And then um, over here... There are two rotisserie chickens. One is going to be for a dinner, and one is going to be for, I haven't decided yet. And then we got the pumpkin muffins. And these are pumpkin streusel. I've never seen these before. Somebody said that they had them new. I, have you seen them in yours? You know. So, um, what was the price? 
It doesn't say. I know you get two for... Oh, it's on your receipt, Goofus. All right, the receipt says that my muffins were $9.99, and that's for two containers. So, you know, less than five each? Wow. I hope. Yeah, that's just... That's just oxygen. That's not mold. That's where the wrapper came out away from the, yeah. I, I put these in the freezer pretty quick um, when I get them. And he got chocolate, like I said. Um, just leave out, you know, three of each kind. So there'd be six all together left out. Because if you don't, in as few as it seems to me, three or four days, they're already molding. Because there, there's no... Um, Oh, what do you call this stuff? You know, you know, it keeps it from going bad. It, it's all natural, like normal ingredients. Okay, so that's it. And the total here was $71.93. Tax was $0.89. Cents. I wonder why tax was $0.89 cents and on what? I wonder if they considered that junk food or that junk food. Or maybe it was the prepared pot pie. I bet that's what it was. I don't know, though. I don't know what's taxable anymore and what's not. I should have had him bring me something special. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything. I mean, this is special enough, and I spent off obviously enough. But I just wanted to share with you what I got. And... Um, tell you all thank you for watching and if you had anything that you enjoyed seeing or you think you want to subscribe I'd love that and if you uh, want to make a comment I am quite the chatter as you can clearly see if you chat I chat sometimes you don't even have to chat I'll chat okay see everybody later and thank you for watching my video bye